Hello, this is Inferno, and this is a short tutorial on how to use 12 cards. I'm going to go over features and how to set it up and get all my own people. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to download the game from inferno.codebrainsideout.net slash 12 cards. In there, there'll be a folder called Builds, which will have a list of builds, older and newer, and currently we're at ver version 0.02. We have a Linux and Windows build, Mac build, pending, don't know what I'm going to do there. Um, You'll just download one that's relative to you. And each, once you get it, it'll be in a tar or a zip. Just extract those, and you'll have a folder like this. In the Linux build, you have 12 cards.sh. In the Windows build, you have 12 cards.bat. They're both the shortcuts that run the game. You will need Java 1.7. This is a Java 1.7 requirement. It's a requirement for the game. And it will not run without it. So, uh,. I'm going to start off and run the game then. Just run the terminal. As you can see, uh, we're, going to have, we're just going to start, with, we're just at the home menu here. This is the uh, information on the game, which you just, it'll change based on what I have up on the server. We also have host game, which allows you to put up a server and someone can join by the IP address you have. Join game. Does that exactly what it says? It does you can join someone else's game by IP address? Then you have uh, assets folder, options menu, which I'm not in there yet, and I'm gonna work on it. Controls, list of controls for the game, and then we guess the assets folder is kind of important. <laughs> Basically, uh, assets folder contains. Once you click on it, it'll open up the folder for the game. It contains all of your cards, which are PNG files, nothing else. Yeah, JPEG, uh, BMP not supported, just PNG. You can convert any image to PNG through MS Paint if you want, so that's always good. And it also brings you to your DEX list, which uh, a DEX list is like this, you know, just a list of cards and the numbers you want for them. And finally, like config, which lets you change the size of the window. Um, full screen is not supported, and there's no sound or VSync currently enabled, but uh, for the most part, we have a. Uh, the most important thing is the window sizes here. Go ahead and the setting up. You're thinking when you start out, you're not going to have this, the, all these cards and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete this, and I'll show you how to set it up from scratch. And we're going to close that folder. And we're going to run the game again. Run the terminal. And first boot. We now only have. You see my uh, wood texture on my ground has disappeared. We're going to have the S open apps assets folder. It's going to create the default settings here, and it's going to have blank folders for these. Now, so uh, we're here. Let's go ahead and make a very basic deck and um, get the card backings for everything. Usually I've been I've been using Magic. This is for Magic: The Gathering, but you can use it for anything essentially. So uh, this is a really simple thing to do. We're going to go to Google Images, and we're going to look up Pikachu. So yeah, you just download your image. Um, we're going to put this in the 12 cards directory here. So, uh... Assets folder. Alright, so we have this Pikachu here, and let's get the back for a Pokemon card. Pokey card back. It's going, oh, that's kind of small, isn't it? Let's even get a better one. That's better. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and toss that in there as well. And finally we're going to get a uh, lightning energy. So we have these three cards real quick. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to open up uh, anything. You could use MS Paint for this. You could use Photoshop. Personally, I'm going to use GIMP. That is, if I could remember where I put that GIMP. <laughs> and we're just going to drag these three images in there. You probably have to open them one at a time with MS Paint. And uh, go ahead and save them all.
Yes. Pikachu. Dot PNG. Back. Dot PNG. And lightning energy dot png. We now have the three PNG cards that we have generated here. So let's copy these and put them in the Collins folder. We now have those three cards in the game. And we can delete the rest of these. Last thing we need to do is uh what's that? We're gonna make a new image. We're gonna make it 256x256. Okay. And we're just going to make it a grayish color. You know, like that. And, uh... Side. Dot, and we're going to save this as side.png. And put it in the cards folder alongside back.png. This is going to be the side of a deck. If you have a bunch of cards stacked up, it'll just that'll be the texture that it displays. And you can make that anything you want. It doesn't have to be gray. It can be polka dots for all I care. But uh, you have to have this, otherwise you're going to get the um, the blue and white default um, image here that I put in the game. Anytime you're missing an image, you're going to get this blue and white default image. So, also we're going to have to let's make our desk. So, um, let's just uh, let's just get. Uh, Oh, okay, that's, I want a table and something like that. Uh, let's just go with wood texture, or concrete texture. Alright, this will work. And so here. Save image as. Save that to our folder as well. And we're done with that now. We should now have to open up this concrete texture that I downloaded. And we're going to save it as PNG as well. I don't suggest making them super big. This is actually kind of too big, but uh, it'll be fine. Put that in the cards folder. Delete the JPEG. We now have these images in our cards folder. So, now that we have that, we're going to quickly make a deck list and um, restart the game. So, let's just create a new text document here. We're going to call this Pikachu deck. And uh, we're going to make it a dot deck file. In Windows, you're going to have to... Uh, uh, the process of setting up, a, making anything a dot, a dot deck file is uh, essentially... I can actually show you how to do it with Wine real quick. Let's just... Uh, let me show you how to do this, how you would do this in Windows. Windows.txt. So you have a txt file in Windows. You make these in Notepad. So you open it in Notepad. It's going to take a second. I recently updated one. There you go. So we have, this is Notepad from Windows. It's just being emulated. And, well, not emulated. Wine is not an emulator, but regardless, I'm using Notepad from Windows. You're going to make your deck, so in this case, we're going to make the deck. How about. Hmm. 40x Pikachu. And 20x Lightning. Lightning Energy. And then percent sign E O F. You must have this at the end of the file. Save. And we're going to name this all files Pikachu deck windows.txt. Or, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Sorry. Pikachu deck dot deck. Well, we're going to delete this one I made before. Get you, so we're going to do pikachu.deck, deck.deck, deck, and all files as our type. And it'll save. Oh, 
Oh, this one. Pikachu deck windows. Say it. Now we have Pikachu deck windows deck as our thing open in Notepad, not a TXT file. If it's a TXT file, it won't work. So let's say you make a that's how you make Notepad save as decks. And uh, for Windows, or if we're doing this in Linux, we're going to use gedit, it's better. <laughs> and uh, 40x Pikachu, 20x Lightning Energy, percent sign EOF. Now we can restart the game on it. Oh, oh, I'm dumb. Uh, the cards change the name of this concrete texture to desktop. Whatever is named desktop will be uh, what you use or what is used for um, you know the background image. There you go. See, we have the concrete texture in there now. And um, let's see. So we have our decks and our cards and our images and whatnot. So let's close the menu, hitting escape, and then add Pikachu deck at deck. So here we have the, uh, the deck that we have, which is 40 Pikachus and 20 energy. We can draw a card. No, that's not good. So yeah, like I said before, um, I actually made a mistake. Lightning energy. <laughs> Lightning energy. There we go. So, we're actually going to uh, quit out. Come back in. But, uh, as you have to make sure that the name of the image matches the name that you use here. Like I said, I put lightning and not lightning, so it didn't it didn't read the image and it made it a uh, default texture, the blue and white one. So now I'm gonna escape again. We go Pikachu deck and then we're gonna add it. And this time we're actually gonna have oh God, I'm bad at this or something. I'm not sure what a mistake I'm making here. Energy. Man, I can't spell. Lightning energy at gar there we go. God. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm sorry people. I'm an idiot. <sighs> Anyways, let's first start the game again real quick. <laughs> Add Pikachu deck. Add deck. Now we have... There we go. The whole deck. In order. This time. And... Currently, um, when you bring in a deck, it will be in the order that you specified it in. But if you hit R, it will shuffle it. So now it will be random. And that runs the deck right out. So now we're going to go over controls now that we know understand how to set up the, the game. See, we have our Pokemon image here, back.png, and desktop.png is the ground. And then finally we have uh, side.png whenever we bring in a deck. That grayish texture, texture right there is the side.png. And we're just going to go ahead and make a server because I want to get rid of all the crap we put down. So here's the very basic... Uh, elements of joining and creating a server as well as camera controls. Terminal. We're going to run two copies of the game and connect locally. So, localhost 
and the name is going to be Bro Bro Bro. Now we have both players are in the game. We're going to have the uh, the um, the person who joined add in a deck, you know, get you deck. deck. And there's a deck right there. You can move it around. Move it around over here. And we can draw from it with the buttons too. And uh, as you can see, this card right here is flipped over kind of on the table. But if we put it in here, we can't see it because this is our hand. The blue zone is your hand. And on this side, the blue zone is his hand. So, in essence, your hand can only be seen by the person who owns it. <coughs> on my end, I have this uh, lightning energy that's in my hand. And on in his end, he has a lightning energy in his hand, and I can't see it. As soon as it comes out of his hand, he can, I can see it. When it's in his hand, I can't see it, even though he can see it because it's in his hand. As stupid as this sounds. And, uh, in essence, that's basically how this works. So, we're going to go over controls now. Last thing, I believe. We can also uh, say that the, the game starting awards up to four players. There will be support for more later on, but currently four players is the max. And uh, so we're gonna start off with the start controls. When you come in, you'll be like this, and uh, <coughs> basic <coughs> camera controls. Waz to move the camera around like this. You know, I'm just using Waz to look around. Then uh, holding down the middle mouse button will let you rotate the camera and you know move it around like this. Then finally zooming in and out is done by using the mouse wheel, so you can look at cards up close and read what they do. I'm trying to find a card to look at. There we go. So yeah, it's much easier to read that when you're close like that. But uh, next thing we have is uh, basic controls. Clicking, left clicking and dragging drags the card around. Right clicking on a card just selects it, but doesn't move it. Whichever card you have selected will have a green ring around it like this, you know. And that will allow you to do things to the card specifically. Like if I right click on this card and hit F, flips over. Hit F again, flips back over. If I hit the arrow key left, then rotate left. If I hit the arrow key right, it goes right. You can also, uh, well, that's about all you can do with um, flat, just standard cards. But if you have a deck here, if you hit F, you can flip the top card over on the deck. And if you hit 1, you will draw from the deck, you know, face up. And if you hit 2, you draw from the deck face down. So you can choose whether to show what cards you've drawn by drawing face up or face down and dragging it to your hand. Then, uh, Holding shift and hitting three lets you search through a deck, and it will alert everyone in the game that a player is searching through their deck, so that you can, so that you can't cheat by reading through your own deck and stuff like that. And when you have this is the deck searching mini menu, it just shows the cards that are in the deck and a number attached to each one to signify what what card it is. For example, um, 25 Pikachu. So if I do draw 25 draws a Pikachu from the deck. When you hit X, closes that menu, and, you know, it's not invisible anymore. The only thing is, hitting R will shuffle a deck, not T. Uh, so, like, if I have this flip the cop card, if I hit R, it'll shuffle it. Shuffle it again, 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 and so on. You can also uh, hit 4 to take the top card of the deck and put it on the bottom. This is for uh, specific things. <laughs> Another thing you can do is uh, draw out some cards like this. And then you can drag a card on top of another card to make a stack. So this is now, these two cards are now stacked up with each other. And you can just drag more and more cards onto here like this, and it'll get larger. So now we have a stack of, you know, like six or seven cards, 
and uh, you can draw from this deck. It's handled just like a deck. Flip it up and down, rotate it, and so on and so forth. Finally, you can. Uh, Let's, let's, we can go through menu controls now real quick. Right now I'm on a server, and uh, there are basically a couple of different menus. First is hitting escape. We'll bring up the main menu here, and you can close it with escape. Second, you can uh, bring up hit tab to bring up the uh, the card menu, which will let you like, you know, Pikachu dot, just like, you know, I want to add Pikachu. I'll add the card Pikachu. You can add as many as you want like that. Then we have the, uh, we can get escape to close that. The chat menu, which is bring out by T. Let me say hello. And, uh, you can see, just hello. Get. So, yeah. And, uh, this is a bug. I'll, well, not really a bug, is I know I knew it was there, and I know where it's coming from, but I'm lazy and haven't fixed it yet. I will fix it in the future. Do not worry. Anyways. Uh, another thing I'm bringing is uh, if you've lost, you can lose focus. Um, the keyboard is focused on a chat menu like this. You can't hit escape to close the menu. Just click on the button and uh, then hit escape. Once the keyboard focus is no longer on like an edit field, it will be fine. That's just a nitpicky TWL thing I'm going to have to work out as I go. It'll be fixed in future releases, hopefully. Um, so we already went over the card draw menu. Seems that's about it, actually. And uh, as you can see, we have the on the menu here, where it normally says join and host, it now says disconnect. So let's go ahead and disconnect the game. And as you can see, Burber Bro has left the game. And uh, Disconnect 2, we're back to the the base where you're like ready to join or host a game. Uh, I think overall we're pretty good. I mean, I like to like show game runs. Whoop. I hate that bug. When you full screen the game, it crashes. What? Okay, never mind. Just a random bug there, I guess. I have no idea. I'll solve that later. That's a. Uh, I'm not sure what's causing that. But uh, you can restart the window as you please. It can be any size you want, even like this if you're crazy. And uh, for the most part, things can, uh, like, objects can resize properly. I mean, some things won't work. But uh, for the most part, menus will work when you do it. Go and quit. And that's all for the tutorial, I believe. I think I've covered just about everything about the game. And if you have any questions, you can just post them in the comments. <laughs> Thank you, uh, and uh, thanks for watching the video.